Today I'm going to show you a simple quilting design that is perfect if you have a quilt that's made up with all squares or half square triangles. So window pane quilting is a special variation of straight vertical lines and it's a variation that works really well if you have something that's made with a lot of squares or with half square triangles because it's just an echo of the seam and an echo of the squares. On this quilt that is called Rolling Meadows, you can clearly see the window pane quilting. Now this quilting is just on one side of the seam, this side and this side, so that it also accentuates the half square triangles. And my sample window pane quilting is going to be done on this little checked placemat which will give you a good idea of what it will look like even on a large size quilt. If you want to make your own sample placemat for practice quilting, check out the link above. Now for window pane quilting, you usually don't need to mark the fabric because you can just use the edge of the presser foot and the seam line as a guide. If you want it to be an exact measurement away, you can mark the quilt top if you're more comfortable with that but I don't think it's usually necessary. So just like with straight vertical lines, we're gonna start in the line close to the middle of the quilt and then stitch out toward the edge, then turn it around and stitch the other side. So at the sewing machine, I'm going to align the edge of the presser foot with that seam and then stitch a straight line. And I have my quilting gloves on to give me extra grip to help guide the fabric. I'm going to have window pane lines on both sides of the seam. When I get to the next seam, I'm going to line up the other side of the presser foot and stitch on that side. Then I'll continue along stitching on both sides of each seam. So here I have the line stitched on either side of the seam in one direction. Now I'm going to rotate the piece and quilt in the other direction. Here's the double window pane lines. They're done on both sides of the seam. And if you look and if you look at the back, you can really see how the lines work together. So now all we have to do is just trim the edges and bind it and we have a nice fun place back. Window pane lines is one of the easy quilting designs that's in my book, Simple Quilting. For information about this and other tutorials, tips, and inspiration, check out my website, ebitastudio.com.